They've said it's the family that nobody wants to join, but the Dreamcatcher family. I mean, I knew what a Dreamcatcher was, but I didn't know where it came from or why. Uh, what I did know is it was presented to students at Columbine in 1999. From there it went to Red Lake in 2005 and they held on to it and when Sandy Hook happened four of the students who were there at the shooting and who were the survivors just were compelled that they had to bring it to, to Sandy Hook and from there it went to Maryville, uh, Washington, then to uh, Townville and then to Parkland. They accepted it and held on to it for 17 seconds in honor of the 17 victims. And then they passed it back and asked that it not travel to any other place and that we find a permanent home. On this, the 21st day of June 2018, this very special dream catcher to the custody of the National Teachers Hall of Fame Museum as a symbol of physical comfort and emotional healing and as a symbol of love. It's, it's really one symbol for, for the entire nation just like the memorial is and just like the National Teachers Hall of Fame. And the fact that now it's a national monument makes it even, even more powerful, I think.